Download everything in the description first. Don't worry about the amount of downloads, almost everything gets deleted afterwards. Try not to be intimidated by this going fast, it's all just pressing buttons. Once you've got all that, open Radmin VPN. I accept, install, finish. Make sure you're online. After that, run npcap, I agree, next, install, finish. Doing that installed network drivers. Extract all .rar and .zip files and run windit. Select image file, select the Godzilla ISO, click scan file, verify version, then type eight zeros and then five four. Click patch and OK twice. That patched the game to bypass Sony authentication. Run the PCSX2 setup, pick whatever installation suits you, install and run. Extract the dev9 gigarazi zip into the plugins folder. Click next, click the dev9 configure, and then under ethernet click the enabled checkbox. And in the Ethernet device drop down menu, select PCAP Bridge Famitech. Make sure it's not PCAP Switch Famitech. Click OK and Next. Extract the Sony PS2 zip into the BIOS folder. Refresh list and finish. This is just PS2 firmware and the plugin is emulating Ethernet and routing it through Radmin. On PCSX2, go to CDVD, ISO Selector, Browse, and select the PlayStation Network Adapter ISO. Go to System and Boot Fast. You're going to need controller inputs now. Press X, Format, press X and enter anything until you reach this. Select High Speed Connection and then Manual Settings. For the IP address, pull up Radmin and enter the number next to the power button. If it's not a full three digits, put zeros in front of it. For NetMask, enter 255 and keep the rest to zeros. For default router address, enter 026, all zeros, and then a 1 at the end. Ignore the DNS addresses, click enter, press X to save, and then close it. Use the ISO selector to add the Godzilla ISO and then go to system, boot fast. To connect to someone, create or join a network with them on Radmin VPN. It doesn't matter who hosts. Go to multiplayer, create a profile, select it, go to network play, and select your network configuration. Now it's just a straightforward create a game if you're hosting and join a game if you're not. When you're done, throw the Godzilla ISO into PCSX2 and just delete everything else. If you have any issues, there's a link in the description to the Discord server dedicated to this with several people eager and willing to play, help, and answer questions. There will also be a follow-up troubleshooting video that'll be more in-depth for explanations, frequent problems, and their solutions. So if you have any questions or issues, even if they're resolved, bringing them to the comments or server could be very helpful.